Oh yeah. Guys, another big one. I mean, he's huge. He may be bigger than the first one. We're gonna be using some white bass today. I've done fairly well using white bass as bait in the past. It has tough meat, it's bloody. stays on the hook really good I mean you won't have any bait stealers with this bait Good fish. Oh yeah. Really good fish. Really good fish. Just casted this one out. He's crossing the other line, unfortunately. I really can't slow him down right now. He's gonna get me wrapped and everything. He's big. I just felt that way, he's big. that clicker on. I mean this drag is set pretty tight too. I mean I can probably go a little more but
fishing. Fishing right in front of this abandoned ship. Right on the white bass. Gosh, I really can't pull them up. It's a good fish, guys. I'm gonna have to thumb the spool just a little bit. This fish won't come in. That's uh, a big fish, y'all. I mean, he's he's pulling a lot of drag right now. Oh, do we really got a double? Oh man, we got a. Do we got a double? Or is he just really wrapped in this line? Yeah, he's, he's pulling all my line, y'all. Oh. We're about to get a double here, I think. Oh yeah. Guys, we may have, oh my gosh, that's a giant. Guys, we may have another fish on this one. It's hard to tell. I just don't know. Yeah, and this one's about to go. We got, oh yeah, we got chaos. Yep. That one's good. I see him. He just surfaced. Just gotta get him over here. Yeah, he's just wrapped in that other line. It's a good one. It's hard to tell how big it is. I mean, just because of that, that current. But what I'm trying to figure out is, do I got another fish on? Because... Anyway, we may have a triple one. I don't know. This is chaos right now. I've never had this much action here. I mean, but that rod is going pretty good. So, and he's hooked. This one, I, this one's a big fish. I just got to coax them over here. Oh, man. Yeah, he is wrapped. Wrapped, wrapped, wrapped. Really bad.
Oh. He may go 50 though. Yeah, we may have our fish on. I need to really get him unhooked because he's wrapped bad. I'm probably going to end on this, guys, just because it's I'm in a very bad mess right now. I mean, it's just this is so chaotic right now. I mean, look at all that line. Golly, there's just, there's just no way. This one's a small one. let him chill out okay I got to get this one out guys it's just I've got to get this one out guys this one has a fish I have a fish on the end of this line, I think, and I'm having to hand line this fish in. It's a good fish too. Gosh, it's a really good fish. Oh my gosh. Here's what I'm gonna do. I have two rods with a fish on and one of them is tangled in with this one. So I'm gonna have to be really careful on getting this fish out. It's just what I'm working with right now, unfortunately. This is madness. Madness, madness. All right, guys. Here's the fish. He's mad. I don't know how much he weighs, but I'm just going to go ahead and get him back in the water. I'd probably say somewhere mid to upper 40s. He may be 50. I don't know. Back to the depths. All right, guys, I got two other fish on. One of them's badly tangled. Let's, let's see if we can get them. It's that one right there. He's way out there, guys.
because this one's badly tangled. Look at that knot. Look at that knot. I'm gonna have to hand line them. It's the only way to do this. Just what we're having to do. We'll see how big he is. Oh yeah. Guys, another big one. I mean, he's huge. He may be bigger than the first one. We're gonna have to... Whew. Oh, guys. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. He's huge. Guys, he is he is huge. No joke. Pulling more drag, pulling more drag. Guys, I know this is weird. This is weird for me, but it, this is the only thing that I can do right now given the knot in this rod. There's no way I'm going to be able to work that out while having a monster on. I'm actually surprised he hasn't popped off. But I think we're going to get him. This is my first time having to hand line a giant catfish. I had to let go there, guys, just because he almost, he almost broke me off. I had to get the net ready. Oh my gosh, another knot. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. That other fish got me wrapped in this line, which is why this is such a big mess. I mean, no joke. I can't believe I'm doing this.
This is tough, y'all. This is tough. We got him. We got him, guys. That is a giant. I had to hand line that one. No joke. Talk about chaos. Okay, I need to go and reel these lines in and and then my net actually went off the side of the boat. Just a lot of craziness going on, guys, but here's the other one. This one's been on here for like probably a good, I don't know, 45 minutes. Here's this small one. This fish is every bit of 50 pounds. I'm gonna show you what he looks like and then we're gonna get him back in the water. <laughs> Here he is, guys. I'd probably say 50 plus, easy. Here he is. Let's go ahead and release him. There she goes, back to the depths. That was just super chaotic. I'll be honest, I'm a little embarrassed, but that was a very chaotic, rare situation. Sometimes that's what happens when you're by yourself and you get a mess on your hands and I don't know, but the fish was safely released. Um, both of them were. I did lose my net in the process. I don't know how I did that, but it's just you got a lot of emotions going on when you're trying to bring in a big fish in the boat. And so it's just a lot of adrenaline and a lot of intensity. But I'm going to call it after that, guys. I'm just, I'm exhausted. So we just doubled up on giants over there. Actually, we tripled up. The one that you just saw before was probably around 10 pounds. I don't know. I can't remember now. Uh, but then doubling up on those giants like that, that was that was intense. I, I've never been in a more intense situation than that. Because the first big one got me all tangled with the other one that hit. So you can just imagine if that one's pulling drag and that one's pulling drag and you're trying to reel it's just you're gonna get knotted up and that's what happened so there was no way I could have reeled that one in given the knot and those lines I mean the only option I had was to hand line them in and luckily it worked out like I said I lost my net in the process but I'd rather have lost my net than lose the fish I mean that one may have been pushing 60 
you know, I didn't weigh them. I didn't want to bother weighing them and doing measurements. Just wanted to get them back in the water as quickly as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Hope you all enjoyed the fiasco there or the chaos. As always, give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later.